Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Now, today we've got a challenge. We've got a little bit of a challenge. I'm doing something a little bit more complicated this time. But do not think that this is too complicated for you to try. Get your yarn, get your hook and watch the video and work along with me. If you follow along, you'll take this into your head a lot easier. This beautiful, beautiful butterfly blanket. I'll show you in a different video how to do the border because the video is quite long. Grab yourself a cup of coffee, your hook and your yarn and I really would suggest that you crochet along with me for this. Now please don't think that you just, you won't be able to do this. You will be able to do it. You will and it's beautiful. This is what the back looks like on the back and some people call this a butterfly stitch. Someone, some, some people call it a star blanket. I think it looks more like a little butterfly rather than a star. I think a star's got five points and these are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to pick it up. Look at that. That is so, so pretty and please don't think you can't do it. I wouldn't put it on YouTube if I didn't think you could do this. You can do this. And look at this for a, a pram blanket. If you've got a brand new baby in a pram, and look how beautiful that would look on the top of the pram. It's really light as well. Don't think that it's not a, a light blanket. It is. It's quite nice for in the summer if you make it bigger for a cot. You can just put the sheets on the cot and then you can put the blanket on the top. You can make a really nice big square one and just put it on, on your carpet. You can put it outside on the grass for sitting on. It's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful blanket and I'm going to show you how to do it. Please don't be frightened of doing it. Give it a try. Just get some yarn and a hook and sit down and have a try at this. It's really, really pretty. And it's a beautiful butterfly stitch. It's done on a set of 12 stitches. So when you do your chain, do your chain in sets of 12. And each butterfly section is four rows. And you're going to repeat the same four rows over and over again to make your blanket and it really is pretty look at that so let's show you how to do this so once again grab your hook grab your yarn get yourself a cup of coffee and sit down and crochet along with me <laughs> this is my last ball of red heart blue. This is my last ball I've got of my red heart. I was going to make something else with it and I took it out. I decided to keep it. I'm going to use a 5mm hook. This is a 5mm hook. And this red heart yarn is quite thick. If you're in the UK, you can't get the red heart yarn. You can get it online. Um, I have bought it online and you can get it on Amazon as well but you can get it online. So to do this pattern we need to do it in sets of 12 stitches and then we're going to add another 5 stitches on at the very end. So we'll just do your slip knot, do the slip knot whatever way that you normally do it. Now when you do your chain, don't do it too tight, Be a little, do it a little bit slack, it doesn't need to be really, really tight. And we're going to do it in sets of 12. That's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we're going to continue counting sets of 12 until the blanket length is your, the size that you want. Now this one, this little pram one, so that's one set, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine sets of 12 on my blanket for that size. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to, I'm not going to do the full size of the blanket for this sample. I'll do a, a chain and I'll show you what to do next. But you do your blanket the size that you want in sets of 12. 
So on my chain, I've got about five sets of 12. We're going to chain an extra five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now the stitch we're going to use, I'll zoom in, the stitch we're going to use is, in the UK, it's a double treble. If you're in the USA, it's a treble crochet. So this is what we're going to start off with. We're going to go into the fifth stitch and we're going to put two double trebles into the fifth stitch in the chain. One, two, three, four and five. So into this fifth stitch here. Now that becomes one of your double trebles. So we're going to wrap the yarn around the hook twice. So it looks like you've got three loops on your, on your hook. We're going into that stitch and pull through. So we've got four loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Wrap your yarn around twice and go into that same stitch. So it looks like we've got three double trebles all coming out of the same stitch like this. So we're going to chain one, we're going to skip five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and into that sixth stitch, we're going to put a double crochet. If you're in the USA, this is a single crochet. If you're in the UK or Australia, this is a double crochet. We're going to chain one and then skip another five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. In that sixth stitch, we're going to do three double treble crochets, three chain and three double trebles all into the same stitch. So yarn over twice and into that stitch, you're going to do three double treble crochets. One, two, around my hook. And into that same stitch, that's two double trebles. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to put another three double trebles into the same stitch. So in all, we've got six double trebles and three chain in this cluster. And this is my third one. Put chain one, skip five, one, two, three, four, five, and into that sixth one, put a double crochet. Chain one and skip five, one, two, three, four, five. Into that sixth stitch, we're going to do that big cluster again. So yarn over twice and in to that stitch. So we're going to put another two in here. So we have three. One more. And we're going to chain three. One two, three, and put three more double trebles in to that stitch. So we're going to put our next three double trebles in to this stitch. I might have been saying treble crochets, but for the UK it's a double treble. And if you're in the USA or another country, it's a treble. But for the UK people, this is a double treble. Chain one and skip five. One, two, three, four, five. Double crochet. Chain one, skip five. One, two, three, four, five. Into the sixth one, we're going to do that cluster again. Three double trebles, three chain and three double trebles 
all into the same stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way to the end. When you're at the end you should finish on three double trebles. So I'll get myself to the end and I'll show you what to do next. I'm going to put four of my double treble crochets. That's one. Two, three, and four. All into that same stitch. We're putting four, no chains in this one. So this is what we have. I'm going to chain one and turn. So into this space, I'm going to put a double crochet. First of all, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. That makes that part for our next row. So around these three, you're going to put your yarn around twice and go behind that post. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over through two loops. Yarn over through two so what we're going to do is we're going to keep that stitch on the hook. Keep that stitch. We're going to work the next one. So yarn around your hook twice. Go behind the post. We're doing what's called a front post double treble. So we're going to work around that post. Pull your yarn through. Yarn over, come through two loops. Yarn over and through two loops. So we've now got two double trebles or two trebles if you're in the UK and the United States on a hook. Yarn around the hook twice and go behind this last double treble stitch here. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So we've got our four stitches on the hook, the three from those double trebles and the one that was left from that chain. Keep them on the hook. Keep them on the hook and we're going to move over to these three treble crochet double trebles here. We're going to do the same thing. So yarn around your hook twice and go behind not that chain, that chain belongs down there. That treble double treble there and go around that post. Pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So we've got five loops on our hook now. Around your hook twice, wrap your yarn, and we're going behind the next post. We'll do that for the, this set of three. Keep that one on your hook. And we're going through that last set of three through two loops and through two loops. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops on our hook. You're going to do a yarn over and come through all of those loops and chain one. And this is what it looks like. So we're making the bottom set of wings for a butterfly. The next round we'll do the top set. So that's us made our first set of butterfly wings for this little butterfly stitch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. Now you can rewind the video if you need to. Now into this chain here that we've got this chain of three that's in this cluster, you're going to do a double crochet. If you're in the USA or another country, that's a single crochet. If you're in the UK or Australia, it's a double crochet. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to work around these three stitches and go right across and work these three stitches. 
So we're going to make another little set of wings. So yarn around your hook twice and go behind that post and pull through. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. Keep that stitch on the hook. Yarn over twice. Do the next one. Keep the stitch on the hook. And we'll do this third one. Keep the stitch on the hook. And now we're going to move over to this set of three and do the same. Just miss out all this chain part here. Go under, not the chain, make sure it's that one and that's treble and don't pick that up. Don't pick that. Don't mistake that for your stitch. It's not. It's these three here that we're going to pick up. So work behind that stitch. Keep it on the hook. Do the next one. And one more. That's that one there. So we've got all these stitches. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn over and just grab a hold of it and pull through all of those loops. And we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to double crochet into this chain of three that's between the cluster. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to work around these three here. Now don't be tempted to work around the, this chain and this chain. This is our bottom chain. This is our foundation chain. You don't want to work that. We're going to work these three stitches and these three stitches. So it'll be these three and jump over and these three all on the hook at the same time. So we're going to skip right over and do three that's in here. And I should have my chain left from the very first row. So I'm going to go through all of those stitches and I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to do, I've got a little knot in my yarn here. I'm going to double crochet into the end like that and that's your last little butterfly pattern so this is what we've got so far we've got this so we're going to chain one and turn so we're now on the reverse of the blanket and I'm going to put a single crochet into that one that we've just done so we're going to chain three one two and three. Now into the loop that's here that's holding all of these stitches into that little circle you're going to do three of your double trebles. So into that same stitch. Now the best thing to do with this video is just to get your wool and work along as we're going. And a third one. Chain three, one, two, three, and put another three into that same space. Three double trebles into that same space. 
And this is us doing our clusters again for the next row. That's three. Go to chain one and we're going to put a single crochet, a double crochet into this space. Just go into the double crochet that's there already. We're going to do one chain. So we've done our chain one and into this little circle here where all your clusters are, you're going to put your three double trebles, chain three and three double trebles. That's one, that's two, that's three, one, two, three, and another three double trebles all into that same space. We're doing our next cluster. There we go. We do chain one and into that double crochet, we're going to do another double crochet. Just put your hook through, double crochet, chain one, and move over to the top of that next cluster. Three double treble, three chain and three double treble. Chain one and do, then we're going to do a double crochet, chain one and do another cluster over six. Chain one, a double crochet, chain one, and I'll show you what to do when we get to this end one. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and show you what it's like. So this is what we've got just now and it looks like this. But these will be getting split off into our sections when we're on the right side and it's going to make the top part of your butterfly. So into my last cluster here we're going to do one whole set of our clusters. We're doing the last one so it's three double crochet, three double treble crochets, that's a treble crochet if you're in the USA, that's my third one, chain three, one, two, three, and do another three double treble crochets, oops, I'll just take that back. So that's one, two, and three. Chain one and into the top of this one here, that's our double crochet. I'm going to put one double crochet into the top of that one. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four, and turn. Oops. So that's what the front looks like. And it's these ones that we're going to split off to make the top half of the butterfly. So we've done a chain four and we're going to turn. Now to keep the pattern going like this, this first set we're only going to work these first three to make this part of the butterfly. These two sections will get brought together like this. These two sections will get brought together. So on this round, we're only be going to be working with these three first. So you yarn over and go behind. Make sure you're not taking that chain. Make sure it's not that chain and it's these three here. Go behind the post, just like we did before. Keep it on the hook. We're only going to do three on this row. And one more. So 
So we've got our four on here. Pull through those four and chain one. So I'm going to chain another four. Sorry, I need to chain five here. One, two, three and four. And that one's five. We're going to single. We're going to do a double crochet into that space there. Just like we did on the row below here. We're going to go in between these clusters. Do one treble crochet. You're going to chain five. It's not a treble crochet, it's a double crochet. Chain five, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to repeat what we did down here. We're going to pick up these three and skip over and pick up these three. Make sure you don't pick up those chains. You don't want to pick up those chains there. You want to pick up the ones that are in this cluster these three here so we're going to do these three keep them on the hook and go over and do these three you might think this is a little bit more complicated of a blanket than i'm usually doing but it's really worth it once you get the hang of this and what you're doing you will want to make lots of these it's a beautiful pram blanket Keep all your stitches on and move over. Make sure you don't take that chain. Don't do these chains. Uh, uh, uh. We're working on these three stitches here. So yarn over twice and go behind that stitch. Keep it on the hook and do the next one. And that third one. So we should have seven stitches on the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put your yarn over, grab a hold of it all, and just pull through all of those loops and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So into this little arch, we're going to do a double, a trip. We're going to do a double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and we're going to do that all the way along to the end. Pick up these three, and pick up these three. Then we'll chain five, and do a double crochet into this middle part of that cluster. Chain five and then pick up those three stitches and those three stitches. Make sure you're not picking up that chain all the way till we get to the end. And once we've done these two, we'll have one set left on its own on this row. Into that chain of three in between the cluster and we've got one set left. We're going to do this set on its own. We're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to work around that one. Around that one. Keeping them all on the hook. And around that last one. So we've just got these ones, we're going to go through and so we've drawn the last three together. I'm going to chain one and we're going down onto that double crochet that we did on the last row and we're going to do a double crochet and that finishes off that section. We're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and turn. Now into the top of this one here, this little loop, we're going to put three of our double trebles. 
and to this one. So into this loop where you've gathered them all. It's one. Two. Just doing our three double trebles. We're going to chain one and we're going to do a double crochet into that same double crochet that's here. We're just going to repeat all the rows again. Chain one. So we're skipping the chain of five and we're going to put into this area where we clustered it all together, we're going to put our three double trebles, our three chain and three double trebles. Chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to put three more double trebles into there. So we're doing these clusters again. Chain one. Move over to where you've done your double crochet. We're going to do one more double crochet here. Chain one and move over to the top of that next cluster. Three double trebles three chain and three double trebles. So it's going to look like this again. We've got this one little extra one on here and this is to keep the pattern symmetrical. So when we do our next cluster, these two will come together and it'll look like those two down here and they'll come together like this on the next round. Into that set there. Chain one. Now we've got a little cluster here. We're only going to do three into this one. So we're going to put three into this one. Three double trebles. That's one. Two. And three. This time we're going to chain three, chain four, sorry, and we're going to just join into the top of that chain there. Just do a double crochet into there. You chain one and turn. So we're going to chain four, two, three, four, and we're going to work around these three double trebles. So that's one. Keep it on the hook this time because we're at the front of the blanket around this one. That's just got two and around that third one. That's just got three. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip this out and work these three here to join and make a new butterfly. So twice around your hook and pick up that double treble there. Keep it on the hook and around that one. Keep it on the hook and around the next one. Yarn over and come through all the stitches and we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And into that chain of three that's between that cluster, we're going to do a double crochet. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to work around these three and skip over and work around these three. 
to bring these ones in. So you can see what's happening now. We're making a new butterfly on this row of eight. And you're just going to continue those rows over and over again. So all you need to do is just rewind. Once you've done eight, rewind the video and follow it again for the next eight. Rewind the video and follow it for the next eight. That's the easiest way for you to pick it up. Once you get it into your head, what you're doing, then you won't need the video. So we're going to work around these three here. Keep it on the hook because this is the front of the blanket. We keep them on the hook when we're at the front of the blanket. Keep them there and move over to the next section. Yarn around twice. And we're going to do these three on this section. So we've moved to the next one. Move to the next one. And then come through all of those stitches. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and a double crochet into the middle of those clusters. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, work around those three and those three. Then we'll do a chain of five, double crochet into the top of the cluster, chain five, work around those three and those three. We'll chain five, double crochet into the top of the cluster, chain five and then work around those three and those last three. And once we get there, I'll once we get to the end, then I'll just remind you what to do on the way back. So I'll finish that row I've just showed you. And what you can see now is you've got a butterfly that's here and you've also got a butterfly that's here. And we're building up to the next butterfly that's going to mirror image this one. So it's like you've got one here, one here, and one here, and one here. And it's really, really pretty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to chain four, chain one, a double crochet here. We're going to chain one and turn. So I've done my chain one and into this space, we're going to do our three double trebles, our three chain and our three double trebles. That's two. That's three, chain three, one, two, and three, and put three more double trebles. We're going to make that big cluster again. That's two, one more is three. Chain one, and move over to the double treb, the, the double crochet that we did on the previous row and we're going to put a double crochet into there. Chain one and move over to the top of the next cluster. Three double trebles, three chain and three double trebles all the way to the end. And that's what you're going to keep repeating. You're going to keep repeating that. If you don't remember what it is, just rewind the video back to the beginning each time. And as you do that, you're building up your butterflies here and here and then here and here because that one's going to be your next set there. You can see it forming there. And that's the rows that you keep repeating.
and one I know this looks a little bit more complicated but it's beautiful it's really worth trying it out it really is just keep rewinding the video and work along as you're making your blanket and your blanket will end up like this one look at this this is absolutely beautiful now I'm going to do the age old thing, if I can do this, you can do it. But believe me, I've only been doing crochet for about a year. I haven't been doing crochet for a long, long time. And this is my little blanket. As you can see, when you do one butterfly here, you're making up the next one that's over here and over here. So it's kind of staggering it. You've got one there and one there and one. The, the, the wings from this one makes that one there in the middle like that. It's kind of staggering it along. It's beautiful. But you know something, if you did this in green, if you did this in green, I think it would look like holly if you did it in green for Christmas time. But look at that. It's beautiful. I'm going to zoom down a little bit. And it's really, really pretty. So the next video for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a border all the way around it so that you can use this as a pram topper. You can turn it this way as well. It can go any way. You can go up and down this way or you can turn it along like this. It's up to you. But just remember, when you do your first set, you'll have three double trebles and you do your whole or you do your pattern and when you start your next pattern again you're only going to have three at this end and that end and it keeps your pattern all symmetrical like this and I think it's beautiful. I love it. I think it's the prettiest blanket. It is the most complicated one that I've done. But look at that. Look how pretty that is. I'll turn it that way. It looks better that way. Look how pretty it is. It's absolutely beautiful. So this is what my blanket looks like now I've got the border on it. Now I will do another video on how to do the border around the blanket. If I left it on this video, it would take too long. Uh, you'd be sitting there all day with a cup of coffee and your crochet hook. <laughs> Not a bad thing, you would say. But this is what your little blanket looks like once it's finished. You do your chain the length that you want as long as it's in sets of 12. And remember when you do your sets, it, it's four rows per butterfly. And every other row, you'll, ha you'll start on a three. I know some of you will say, how come we started this row with a six? And this row with a three. And it's because you've got, this is your one where you do your six. Because when you do this part, the top part, you only need three to do that top part here. So it's like every alternate row, you're starting and finishing on three double trebles. Because that's what you do right away at the beginning. You start with, I think I've got my blanket upside down. I have you start with a three double treble and the same you finish with a three your second row you go straight to the six you go straight on to do your six double trebles into the little circle part and so every alternate row you're finishing and starting with a, a, just a three double trebles then you go to the six and you can see that there that's where your butterfly is so on this row it's a three but on this row you can see you've got six because you're doing that part of the butterfly and the next row it's just this one you've only got three because it joins here you'll get the hang of it i know this blanket looks a little bit more complicated than what i'm used to doing or what you're used to doing possibly but it's beautiful persevere with it get your crochet hook and get your yarn and just sit 
with the video and crochet along. Just keep pausing the video down here. Just keep pausing it, catch up, play it again and then do the next part. And if you crochet along with it, it's the quickest and easiest way to remember how to do it. And look at that, it's absolutely stunning. And if you make baby blankets and sell them, you could easily sell this for £40. You could easily sell it for that amount of money. It's really worth it. Or even more, you can sell it for more. So give it a try. Please just give it a little try. If you don't manage it, just rip out your yarn and then make one of my other blankets. But give this a little try. If you start, if you think, there's no way I can do this, I'm just a beginner. Get your hook, get your yarn and just crochet along at the same time with me and see how you get on with it. You can also thread some ribbon in through the the stitches here the gaps are big enough for you to thread some ribbon through if you want or just put a nice big bow down there if if you want it's up to you but give it a try and if you really like my videos then take a few minutes and just subscribe to the channel if you click on the subscribe button and it tells you you need a gmail account gmail accounts are free and it's brilliant you can go on youtube and you can like and subscribe to all the channels that you like and it really is it's beneficial to me only in the manner that it boosts my confidence and it lets people see that a lot of people like my work and they're more likely to go and have a look at it as well so just click on that subscribe button also if you click on that little bell icon that's down there youtube will notify you when i post up another tutorial but give it a try so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon goodbye